Good morning students uh, we are going to continue with exercise 1e as you have been informed earlier exercise 1d is not going to be in the syllabus for the final examination so let us continue with this particular exercise wherein we are going to talk about circles now circle as a shape has its circumference given by the formula 2 into pi into r where pi is equal to 22 by 7 now, unless and until it is mentioned in the question that the value of pi has to be taken as 3.14, you are going to use the same value that is 22 by 7 for pi. It is a constant. R is the radius and it is equal to diameter by 2. So, in the questions where the diameter is given, you are going to divide the diameter by 2 and that is going to give you the radius. So, what is the formula of circumference? It is 2 pi r. Similarly, the area of the circle is given by the formula pi r square and that is what you need to remember. So, let us continue further. I am not going to discuss the rest of the formulas. You can always go through them yourself and uh, while we are going to go through the questions one by one, we are going to reach on to the discussion of the remaining formulas. But for the basic thing, the two formulae that are more important are the circumference of the circle and the area of the circle. Circumference given by 2 pi r and the area is given by pi r square. And in general, the value of pi will be taken as 22 by 7. So let us start with question number 1 wherein we have to find the circumference in the area of a circle. Doing the first part of it. Radius is equal to 14 centimeter. Circumference will be given by 2 pi r. Substituting the values 2 into 22 by 7 into 14 will give you the answer as 88 centimeter. Circumference is just the length around the circle. So the unit will remain as the unit of the radius given. In order to find the area, the formula is pi r square. So substituting the values 22 by 7 into 14 into 14. On simplification, we get 616 centimeter square. Area is always found in square units. Moving on to question number 2, where we have to find the radius of the circle and the area if the circumference is given. So doing the first part of it where the circumference is given as 176 centimeter. So we are going to use the formula of circumference that is c is equal to 2 pi r substituting the value of circumference as 176 and substituting the value of pi and r. r is the un only unknown thing in this particular equation. We are going to take the rest of the known things on the other side to actually calculate the value of r. So r comes equal to 28 centimeter. I hope these steps are clear to you. In order to find area the formula is pi r square just simply Substitute the values and get the value as the area. Moving on to question number 4. A bicycle wheel is 1 meter 26 centimeter. Okay. So the diameter of the wheel is given that is 1 meter 26 centimeter. First of all we are going to convert this given unit because it is in the mixed unit meter and centimeter both. We are going to convert this into centimeters. We all know 1 meter is nothing but 100 centimeter. So it becomes 100 centimeter plus 26 centimeter that is 126 centimeter. In order to calculate the radius we are going to divide the diameter by 2. So r is equal to d by 2 and the value comes equal to 63 centimeter. They are asking us that how much distance will be travelled by the wheel in one rotation or by the bicycle in one rotation. So it will be equal to the circumference of the wheel. What is the formula for that? 2 pi r. So the distance travelled will be equal to 2 pi r that is 2 into 22 by 7 into 63 the value calculated for the radius and we get the value as 396 centimeter. 396 means 300 centimeter plus 96 centimeter and 300 centimeter is equal to 3 meter. So the value comes equal to 3 meter 96 centimeter. They are also asking the number of rotations which are needed to cover a given distance. Number of uh, dis the number of rotations will be given by the total distance given upon the circumference. The distance travelled in one rotation is circumference. So substituting the values in here, the value of distance was given in kilometers. So we are going to convert this into centimeters or meters and then we are going to substitute the value of circumference in the same unit. So here we have converted 1.98 kilometer into meters. So it will be 1.98 into 1000 meters because 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meters. 
and the value of uh, circumference we have calculated as 3 meter 96 centimeter which is nothing but 3.96 meter. So we are going to substitute these values in the formula and the number of rotation comes equal to 500. I hope this point is clear. Moving on to question number 5 where they are saying a 54 centimeter long piece of wire is bent into the shape of a semi circle and it is bounded by the diameter find the radius first of all you need to visualize the given shape remember when we are talking about a wire it is a linear shape so you can bend it into this particular form i hope you are clear with the diagram we have bent the wire in such a way that it is forming a semicircle now what is a semicircle semicircle is half of the circle so we need to find the uh, they are asking us to find the radius. So first of all, let us find the perimeter of it. Perimeter means the length around this shape. One will be the circumference of the semicircle and then it will be added to the diameter. So the length of the semicircular arc will be given by half of the circumference. Now half of the circumference means, okay, half of the circumference means half into 2 by r and half into 2 by r is going to give you the value once you substitute the values. So it is going to give you it uh, the value as pi r and pi r plus 2 r. Why? Because it is the diameter. Diameter is 2 times the radius. So pi r is the cir circular length and 2 r is that linear length which is bounding, bounding it. Okay, so pi r plus 2 r should be equal to 54 because the complete length is given to us. So once we solve it by substituting the value, the equation comes only in the form of r. So the r value can be calculated and the value will come equal to 10.5 centimeter. I hope this thing is clear because we had to find the radius and we have found it. Moving on to question number 6. In this question they are saying the square is they are talking about a square and then a circle area of the square is given to us as 1936 centimeters 1936 centimeter square so in order to find the side of the square we know that the area of the square is given by side square so side will be equal to the square root of 1936 because square root on one side is equal when taken to the other side becomes a square similarly a square taken to the other side will become square root so side will be equal to under root of 1936 which will be equal to 44 centimeter. Now the perimeter of the square will be 4 into side and that is e coming equal to 176 centimeter by substituting side equal to 44. Now they want us to find the radius of the circle but remember the length all around the square should be equal to the length all around the circle because we are using the same substance. So that's why the concept in this question is that the perimeter of the square should be equal to the circumference of that particular circle. So for the circle we have 2 pi r, we have assumed the radius to be r. So 2 pi r should come equal to the perimeter of the square that is 176. So we have an equation in terms of r. So from here we will find the value of r and it comes equal to 28 centimeter. Once we have got radius equal to 28 centimeter, I hope you have got the concept. The perimeter of the square should be equal to the circumference of the circle because we have used the same substance to form these two shapes. So the length will not change. That's why we have used this concept. Now easily we can find the area of the circle which is given by pi r square. r we have calculated as 28 centimeter. So on substituting the values in this formula pi r square we get the answer as 2464 centimeter square. I hope this part is okay. Moving on to question number 8. First part. The diameter of the circular pond is given as 28 meter. So radius will be diameter by 2, so it comes equal to 14 meter. Now uh, this is a pond and uh, the point is that we are going to find it for the inner circle that is the radius 14 meter. For the outer ring the radius is given as 14 plus 7. If you see the diagram here carefully you will understand it. For, there are two circles, one is the inner circle, the one which is inside, the other one is the outer circle which is outside. For the inner circle we have found that the radius comes equal to 14 centimeter, 14 meter I mean 
and for the outer it will become 14 plus 7 because the distance between the two circles internally is given as 7 meter. So 14 plus 7 will become 21 meter. So the value of uppercase R which is for the outer circle and the lowercase R which is for the inner circle is there. Now there is a formula to calculate the value of the area of the ring that is you calculate the area of the outer circle and subtract the area of the inner circle that is going to give you the area in between. The concept is very simple, understand it. The area of the outer circle in the diagram if you see minus the area of the inner circle will give you the area in between the two circles, fine. So that is what we have done, taking pi common the formula comes equal to pi uppercase r square minus pi lowercase r square, okay. So take pi common and 22 by 7 is outside r square minus r square means capital R or the uppercase R came equal to 21. So it is 21 square minus 14 square which was the inner radius. So the value comes equal to 770 meter square and that is what we have to find in this particular question. Moving ahead with question number 9, the area of the ring that means the area between the two circles, the outer circle and the inner circle is given, that is the ring is given to us as 3168 centimeter square. We have to find the radius of the two circles if their sum is 42 centimeter. Means the outer radius uppercase R and the inner radius lowercase r, r plus r is given to us 42. So sum of radii is given 42 and the area is given by pi uppercase r square minus lowercase r square. r plus r is given to be 42 centimeter. We know r square minus r square by using the formula of a square minus b square will be a plus b into a minus b. So it becomes capital R plus lower uh, small r capital R minus small r in brackets. So once you substitute the values you will get r minus r coming equal to 24 centimeter. So this becomes one of the equation. Now r plus r was 42 and r minus r is 24. Let us solve it in an algebraic way. So let us add both the things, both the equations, the left side will be added and the right side will be added at the same time. So small r will be cancelled because r minus r is 0 and capital R plus capital R will become 2 capital R equal to 66. So the outer radius will be found equal to 30, 33 centimeter. Substitute the value of capital R in any of the two equations either R plus R is equal to 42 or R minus R is equal to 24 and you will get the value of lowercase r. This is how you have to do it. Okay. Similarly the second part has to be done. Please go through it. I am going to send the PDF for it. Let us quickly see question number 10. How many plants can be planted in a circular garden of circumference 26.40 meter of a space of 600 meter square is to be allowed for each plant? Okay, if uh, the space of 600 meter square is allowed for the each plant. First of all, circumference of the circular garden is given. So we will find the radius of the garden. The radius comes equal to 4.2 meter by applying the formula 2 pi r. Then uh, the area of the circular garden is given by pi r square. So we will calculate the area of the garden, complete area of the garden by putting the value of r equal to 4.2. So the area comes equal to 55.44. Now area of each plant is 600 centimeter square and we have calculated the area of the garden in meter square. So we will convert centimeter square into meter square by dividing it by 10,000 because 1 meter square is equal to 10,000 centimeter square. So 1 centimeter square will be 1 upon 10,000 centimeter square. So 600 upon 10,000 will be done and you will get 6 upon 100. Now number of plants will be given by total area upon area of each plant. Whenever you are finding a number, so the larger area should be divided by the smaller area and you will get the number. So total area was uh, uh, calculated, it was equal to 55.44 and the area of each plant came equal to 0 0.06. So once you substitute the values, you will get 924 as a total number of plants. So this is how you have to do this complete exercise. I am going to send the PDF in the classroom too along with this explanation. Kindly complete your work and with this we are done with this particular chapter. Thank you so much class. Whatever queries you have, you can always post it as a comment under this uh, post which I am going to make in the classroom. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself.